Long ago, Roblox created the best invention they ever made, Roblox Limited. Following this historic event, Roblox made many more Limiteds in their time. However, one day, the Limiteds just suddenly stopped coming. Until recently, when someone at Roblox Corporate had the brilliant idea, hey, why don't we stop making our original and cool Limiteds and let the community make Limiteds. And from this, we had the birth of some of the best Limiteds ever created. We have Bright Starry Valkyrie. Star Sky Blue Valkyrie, Patriotic Valkyrie Helm. Wow, just amazing. Totally not a copy of the Valkyrie Helm. These are 100% original creations. You don't want this Valkyrie Helm? Guess what? We have a top hat as a Valkyrie Helm. We have something even better. Took it to the next step of Valkyrie Bazooka. As you can see, today we're going to be discussing the unfortunate, what I think to be, death of Roblox Limited. Now, if you don't know what a Roblox Limited is, it's basically a collectible item with a certain number of copies. Just for example, because we're on it, we have Sparkle Time Valkyrie. It has 94 copies. If you own one, you can either sell the item or you can trade it inside of the Roblox trading system. If you don't have it, you can buy it from another user. That's basically how Roblox Limiteds work. The more valuable and the more rare an item is, typically the more expensive it is. So why do I think Roblox Roblox Limiteds are dying? Well guys, the obvious answer here is Roblox UGC. Basically, Roblox user-generated content where creators on the Roblox platform can create their own hats. And for a while now, Roblox has actually let UGC creators make their items into Limiteds. And as I showed in the beginning, there are some unique Roblox Limited UGC items. However, a lot of them are just straight off ripoffs and copies of already established Roblox hats. I'll get to that later in the video. That's just one factor of why I think Roblox Limiteds are dying. But to start, I want to show you guys just solid proof of the dying Roblox Limited market. So I'm on this website called Raleigh Monster where you can basically track Roblox Limited. And as you can see here, if you just scroll through, I've been noticing this recently, a lot of these items are just dropping in drastic amounts. We have this clockwork item. These are really easily copied by UTC creators and this just dropped 40k. And now this is a big one right here. These horns right here. Recently, they actually rose a little bit from 1 million value to 1.1 million value. And then I think there was like a copy of this without the particle effects that dropped basically almost the exact same hat dropped and this value just went from 1.1 million all the way down lowering 950k and then it dropped even more to 650k like bro that's literally like almost a 500,000 drop in value in just four days now i don't know about you guys but an item dropping literally half in value this is not a new item either like sometimes new limiteds whenever they drop they would go down because you know they're like brand new there's no actual value on it this is a well established established limited that's been out for years. And yeah, that's just proof that these user generated content items are literally destroying the limited market. We even have a ton of the OG Roblox limiteds dropping in value. Voice Star dropped 100k. Clockwork Shades dropped 150k down to 650,000. If we just look through my friends list, we can see what UGC has done to Roblox Limiteds. My friend Amit BX, as you can see, he looks like he has the red Sparkle Time Fedora. Click on his profile, you know, he has Clockwork Shades, Clockwork Headphones, Young Face, but there's no red Sparkle Time Fedora. What he has is literally just these two mesh pieces that come together to make a fake red Sparkle Time Fedora. So red Sparkle Time Fedora is worth 10 million Robux. Who would pay 10 million Robux to get red Sparkle Time Fedora if he can just get it here? with just these two pieces which I bet cost like practically nothing probably and it's not like it's a different texture different color it's literally the exact same thing as the red sparkle time fedora this was taken down but as you can see there's so many more instances of it right here we have pink sparkle time fedora you can still buy this right now we also have a Bruh. fake void star so who would spend like this is like 4 million Robux to get these and you can do it for 200. Literally just save yourself 4 million Robux right there for the exact same item, the exact same hat. And who's going to spend over a million Robux on Voidstar when you can literally just get Voidstar right here for 150 Robux. Not only that guys, UGC isn't just copying Roblox Limiteds directly. We also have fake versions of OG Roblox hats but just recolored. As you can see my friend America, he has this purple Dominus. I was like, what the heck is this purple Dominus? Is this like a new Dominus? Nope. Yeah, here it is. Like this is literally like a brand new Dominus that he has right here. I don't know how they did this. The bottom piece is the thumbnail and then the top is the actual Dominus. The description reads Star Crown. This item is in compliance with Roblox Terms of Service. Roblox Corporation does not retain rights to the depictions nor design of the Valkyrie helmets as they are sourced from Norse mythology and the designs of all Valkyrie helms are similar. So yeah, I guess literally according to this, Roblox really can't do anything about this. Who's going to spend like millions of Robux on a Dominus? We can literally just get one of these for free. Like literally they could put this up for a hundred 
Robux books and they would probably sell tens of thousands of copies of these. I even tested it for myself at one point. I'm in my avatar editor. So these are the actual Clockwork Shades and Clockwork Headphones that I have on right now. But I went ahead and bought these fake copies of Clockwork Shades, Clockwork Headphones, the black shades and white litters of distraction paired with black meowsticles to make Clockwork Headphones. So in total, I probably spent around maybe like 200, 300 Robux for this. I forgot how much it was, but I'm going to take this off and put this on and you guys tell me if you see a difference. All right, and there we go, guys. I literally put on this new set of clockwork headphones, clockwork shades. The only difference is there's no clockwork here in the glasses. It's such a minuscule difference. I don't think that paying literally 650,000 or paying like 100 Robux, would you really mind the clockwork missing here? And to be honest, there's so many blatant ripoffs on Roblox right now. You could probably find a version of this that says clockwork on it if you wanted to. But other than that, this is literally a 2 million Robux combo compared to this 200 Robux combo. Who's to pay 2 million for this we can just get this for 200. to me it's just wild because if i just go through my friends list again red sparkle purple dominus a dominus and furnace he has the bling chain this is like a really expensive item through confederation he has this as well but not the dominus and furnace it's literally like a three-piece suit right here a four-piece i mean even my boy dhr1 bro he has the wenwood antlers sparkle time ice crown sparkle time valkyrie but where's the rainbow shaggy from bro like literally you can get a free rainbow shaggy i'm trying to get in on this too bro like put me onto this you can literally get a rainbow shaggy right here who is gonna pay like the 8.5 million i think rainbow shaggy is we can get it for free that's my point i'm trying to make here with this UG stuff the next point i want to go into is the actual limited ugc items themselves to be honest when ugc limiteds first started coming out i was like okay maybe this is like a good thing for roblox limiteds there hasn't been limiteds coming out in a long time so maybe an influx of limiteds in the market could be good for other limiteds as well and in the beginning i think that was what was happening but with the recent onslaught of just blatant copies of limiteds there's literally been so many that are flooding the market now it's just hard to keep track of and to add to my point with this huge increase in roblox limiteds coming to the market literally anyone can get a Roblox Limited now. Back then it was kind of like a cool thing to own a Roblox Limited or to have one of your hats go limited. But nowadays, literally anything is just limited. I will say though, I am knocking on UGC a lot for causing the death of Roblox Limited. However, I think there is some upside to the program. Some key points are now that there's a ton of Roblox Limited in the market from UGC, people are actually looking at the original Roblox Limited and they might want to buy some as well. Another point that is kind of a negative, kind of a positive in some ways, with all of these knockoffs of expensive Roblox Limited, people are able to actually buy and afford these fake versions of Roblox Limited that they can wear on their avatar. Obviously, the negative here is this hurts the value of the actual authentic Roblox Limited because you can buy a fake copy for a fraction of the price. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on the future of Roblox Limited. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a big thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, Kevy out.